At the end of the first half of the season, the River Bandits in the postseason were not even close to being used in the same sentence. Before the All-Star break, the Quad Cities were in the bottom half of the West Division, five games under 500. But the second half of the season, the River Bandits have been clicking in all aspects of the game. The offense led by Stefan Nivens and Jack Caglione and a pitching staff that over the last month has an ERA of under three have dominated opponents, outscoring teams by 61 runs, the second most of any Midwest League team. So what would happen tonight game one of the best of three series the bandits hosting Wisconsin QC pitchers dealing top of the six Ryan Ramsey the strikeouts and the inning the bandits pitchers would just give up just one run on the night the offense not following suit though bottom of the seventh runners on first Bandits trying to sacrifice Tayden Hall, the diving catch throws for his knees for the double play, and that kills any sign of a rally there. Bottom of the ninth, though, Bandits down one nothing. The Bandits, the bats catch on fire. Dustin Dickerson the, uh, turns on this one and sends it all the way to the wall. Almost leaves the yard. He's going to slide into second. That is a leadoff double, and the Bandits are in business. Next batter, Sam Cool Singham. Looking for the walk off Homer sends this down the line and right, but it would be caught right at the wall. The runner with the tying run would move over to third though. That's a good thing. The next batter Omar Hernandez looks like he will tie the game, but no, what a diving play by Cooper Pratt to get the out. And then the next batter, the Timber Rattlers finish it off with the strikeout. The Bandits lose a tough one, one nothing. The Bandits will need to win two in Wisconsin.